Hi, this is Atela16 and this is another episode of my uh, campaign at uh, Legendary with the Romans. So I just had a decisive victory here. I killed uh, 1,900 and lost uh, 440, including my cavalry, which is a very sad thing, but I don't really mind. I don't really see uh, Roman cavalry as being uh, particularly useful. So I defeated uh, uh, three armies and a fleet, and that cleared the way to Olipsipo. So I will go there, and I will to resolve this. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. It's probably the best choice. And now I just conquer the place. But I did lose quite a few troops. The thing is that the total battle uh, really inflict a lot of losses to your troops. Okay, so let's destroy everything now that we have it. And I will uh, set that place uh, to have order. So that there will never be any revolt ever. Forever and ever after. Okay, let's check the rest of my empire. I think here I will also destroy that stuff. Here it's fine. About here, people are unhappy, so I will destroy this. Your people are acceptably happy. I will just make a tour of my uh, empire. I'll develop the area which can be developed. So we'll build a temple here, for example. I'll develop my farms. Farms. Temple is fine here. I'm, I thi I'm thinking about doing a pretty strong reorganization of my uh, empire. For example, here I will destroy this. This is bad for stability. I don't have much money, so I won't build the farms or anything. That's just about putting stability all over the base. Like this. Now here, the auto battle really did not uh, serve me too well in terms of uh, preserving my troops. So I will bring my other legion here. I don't believe they will attack me here yet because I have my legion on the way. And my legion will also support this one. It's very likely that the enemy will attack me around here. Maybe here I could simply send this legion back to the town. Yeah, that will be much safer. So I, I swapped my legion. This way uh, I will potentially preserve my troops here, which have been uh, seriously weakened by the auto battle. Well, here, maybe I can recruit something. Yeah, we'll recruit one Legionnaire. Okay, in that region, everybody's happy. That region, I will develop it further. But uh, I'll be fine for now with this. Here. I have a Legion, which could probably go reinforce this one, which uh, does need some reinforcements. And what's the status of Syracuse now? Okay, Syracuse seem pretty happy. So, okay, here I will simply send this legion all the way over here and reinforce that legion. This way I will continue my expansion in Africa. Okay, there, there we go. And now, I will just check my diplomacy. I'm not at war with anybody at the moment, which is a good thing. 
which also means that I can start war with anybody. Now, considering that that army here is uh, completely refilled, I will likely send them to attack that uh, Garama area very soon. That will also uh, allow me to potentially secure this uh, region in terms of uh, public uh, happiness. Okay, so I think I did move out my legion now. And my fleet, which uh, don't seem particularly useful at the moment. I will verify if I have any objective that I can achieve. One more settlement and I'll receive money, that's good. Uh, Cizel Pina, so that will mean expanding north, I won't do that yet. This one I did it. This one... Okay, I need one more. One more province. Where is that? Okay, anyway. Transconnency. Okay. Okay, Iberian Peninsula. So I will need to expand into Spain. At least one settlement. Okay, I'm not there yet. And make one client state. I could do that. Although client states are pretty useless. As far as I'm concerned. We hunger for battle. And let's end this turn. It's possible that this uh, small army here will attack uh, Ebora. Oh, I did lose quite a bit of Praetorian there. Oh well. Okay, let's end the turn and let's see what happens. Now I'm expecting uh, my two town from that region to be uh, attacked. But uh, that should not be much of an issue. And there we go for one potential attack. Now they're grouping up here. Well, they don't stand a chance, literally. Okay, this is it for that. Here I might actually be forced to do it or not, I'm not sure. Okay, let's try this, but that might be ugly. I might lose uh, some legions. Yeah, I lost one unit of uh, Praetorian and Legionnaire. Well, if I had done it myself, I probably would not have lost that. Now it's just about eliminating those, those fleet around the place. Or let them uh, kill themselves uh, against me. So we'll see about this. I guess I will have to go chase them down with uh, this Legionnaire. This way I'll be able to uh, finally have peace in this region. Okay, now I have completed the technology advance, so I will have to choose a new technology to research. Now let's see where I want to go. No, not particularly interested in that. How about this? Wealth from agriculture, that sounds good. But that will take 10 turns. So that's a little time consuming. And if I research this, it will give me more missile for my units. I think I will research this. Okay, here I'm switching my legion back to... Uh, normal stance and let's chase down those uh, enemies uh, fleet well, that's one less well it's chased away but it's not completely destroyed yet well here I cannot recruit anything yet <clears throat> but I have destroyed everything so what happened there is that I received a lot of money and now I will stabilize uh, 
this area because uh, what I'm doing here is I'm building so that I uh, never have to ever come back here again because of some uh, silly rebellion so I will be building this just replacing everything here as well I'm just building a, a consecrated ground this allows me to convert the population which will ultimately be up here now let's cycle around the empire to check uh, where there is uh, more of that okay more consecrated ground here i will also build economic stuff and here an aquatic as well still have a lot of money from uh, destroying everything i guess here i will uh, develop further my cohort barrack i will make rome my uh, center of uh, a recruitment for my future legions now Carthage seem okay in terms of uh, public happiness so that's good here as well they seem happy here they seem uh, unhappy but not too much I guess what I'll do here is I'll do a farm Here I will develop the farm further. Here, no, I won't do that yet. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm uh, just reorganizing the economy of my uh, empire to be uh, as effective as possible. Commander. Well, here, with all the money I made, I will recruit more legionnaires here I can recruit a first cohort which I believe is uh, interesting for armor purpose they have more armor no actually they don't they have a better what do they have they seem to have no advantage actually oh they have a good melee de no even not even that oh yeah I was comparing them with legion uh, veteran legionary So essentially, it's uh, an improved uh, regular legionary. So I guess I will uh, put my guess. Yeah, okay, well, let's go with this. That will replace my uh, two legions which I lost in that battle over here. That battle. Okay, and here I will try to engage this. Oh, good. He decided not to run. That's very good. So, getting rid of that army. It will save me some time uh, in useless battle in the future. And on top of that, it even gives my uh, army some military tradition. And I come back into this town. Now, in two turns, I will have built a building to improve the stability, which will be very nice. And here. Can I move this? Yes, I can move this. So I will start to make my way um, toward that region, which I will uh, try to destroy uh, the enemy very soon, hopefully. And with that legion here, I'm not sure what I should do. I guess I'll just go back to Rome for the moment to recruit more stuff. And perhaps uh, create another uh, effective legion to expand further. At your Here, I probably should try to finish off this army. Yeah, I think I'll do, do. I'll do that. This way that will save us some time again. There's no point fighting such a fight. This also provide me some military tradition, which is very welcome. So I'm improving uh, other aspect, perhaps. Uh, let's increase the morale of my units. 
Here I will move this army back into the town to increase stability as well as the replenishment rate of my army. And here I have a fleet which I have nothing to do with for the moment. I'll just check the diplomacy if there's anything I can do with anybody. I'm not an enemy to anybody now, so that's a good thing. I will hand the turn. I'll do 4,000 uh, gold for the next turn, which will be helpful at building uh, more legions. Now we're uh, finishing off this uh, faction, which will keep attacking me uh, until they disappear. I suppose that I could bring my... Uh, uh, this one wants an aggression pack, which I will refuse. Because uh, while I'm not particularly attracted uh, toward expanding over there, uh, I will expand there anyway. I think what you need to do in this campaign is uh, you need at least two, uh, two legion per front. And with that, normally you should be able to destroy nearly every faction very quickly. And then what you do is you stabilize the region uh, very quickly using the method I just showed of uh, destroying a, destroying every building. And then uh, civil war erupt. Oh, great. The young replace their own. Well, that was fast. I guess we will uh, have to resolve this fast as well. Wow, what is this? Well, that seem uh, pretty good uh, armies over there. So I suppose that since I'm not at war with anybody, uh, it will be the time to go destroy those uh, friendly legions over there. Or unfriendly legion, I should say. Okay, so instead of continuing my expansion in... Uh, Spain, I will actually move uh, to defeat uh, my enemies in the civil war. That should be interesting. There's nothing like legion versus legion. We hunger for battle. And here, I'll keep this legion around here. Ready for order. Well, here I will turn my attention back to uh, Rome. So, heading there. I must say that was very fast. I wasn't expecting uh, to be uh, to have a civil war that early. That's kind of crazy. What I could do, though, maybe. I'm not sure. Can I recruit an army? Reinstate legacy. Oh, apparently, I lost a legion. I did not remember that. Okay, so I'm uh, Make haste, men. recruiting that stuff. Then I will recruit mercenaries. I will hire them. And then I will capture Rome. Yes, sure, capture it. Now, Rome is mine because for some reason they never thought about putting uh, anything into the town itself. I'm not sure if I will be able to recruit those legions or not. Maybe uh, I can actually recruit another army. Yeah, sure. Nice. <laughs> I will recruit another army here. That will provide me another group of uh, uh, veteran legionary. Can I recruit one more? Yes, please. Okay, that's a bit of a waste of uh, resources, but uh, I suppose that defending Rome might be worth it. Is that all? Can I recruit more? No candidate. Oh, well, I will have been able to recruit one more. But anyway, I guess we'll have to live with this. Here, I will send 
my fleet as close as possible to Rome. This way they can come in uh, as reinforcements. Now it's possible that I will lose uh, my three armies which I just created here. Uh, well, not only it is possible, but it's most likely. Uh, but uh, I might uh, slow them down a little. Now, judging by the amount of enemy legions around, perhaps I should uh, I should hurry up to bring more of my own into the area. So I will try to get rid of those uh, annoying barbarian around me. There we go. Now let's move back into the port here, and the next one will be over there. Well, here I will move this group closer to the town. I will recruit. How about Praetorian? No, that's too expensive. I want number. There we go. Okay. So that should be interesting. Yeah, I don't know if I will be able to beat all this. That sounds very unlikely though. But I will have a couple of uh, veteran legionaries and I'm defending Rome, which might have very good walls. We'll see about that. Ending the turn. Oh uh, wait, I have a... I can rank up somebody. I guess uh, since we'll be able to... Uh, wow, this guy ranked up so many times. What is this? Okay, that's interesting. How many level did that guy get? Wow. Now I now have one legion which is literally ranked up, or at least the general is ranked up nearly to the top. I don't know why. Now, uh, hmm. Okay, well, I guess now oh, I can put an edict somewhere. I suppose I'll do so here, maybe. No, I guess I will do so in Spain. So I will increase uh, public happiness, why not? Can I actually put one more edict here? No, I cannot. Are we done? I think we are, yeah. Good. I wish that legion would have uh, come sooner. I'm really curious to see eh? if they will attack Rome. No, they decided to attack my armies instead. That's kind of annoying. So let's see. Yeah, I'll just pull back. You're yeah, regrouping there. Please attack Rome. Ah, oh, damn it. That might be a big problem. But I guess uh, we now see what kind of army they are made of. So, Legionnaire... Okay, well, this will be a no-plus battle, but uh, I guess I'll do it anyway. So, I'll see you on the next episode.